this is Clara from Online Fabric Store. This envelope clutch is designed to carry an iPad or tablet in style. It has a magnetic snap closure, a soft felt lining, and a zipper compartment on the back for cords and accessories. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are one yard of fabric for the outside. I'm using Premier Prince Chloe Frost Birch. One yard of fabric for the lining. This is smoke gray wool felt. A heavy fusible interfacing. A nine inch zipper. Dritz magnetic snaps. Thread. Scissors. A fabric marker. A seam ripper. Needle nose pliers. And also an iron and pins. First, tape together and cut out the pattern pieces. Also cut out the spaces that are marked for the zipper and cut small holes where the snaps are marked. Pin the outside inside pattern piece to the outer fabric and cut it out. Remove the pins and repeat for the lining fabric. I'm using wool felt for the lining because it's soft and cushioning, but a thinner cotton print would also work well, especially if you're not using it for a tablet. Before removing the pattern, mark where the inside snap is. For the zipper compartment lining, place the fabric face down, pin and cut out the piece. You can use either the outer or inner lining fabric here. Mark where the zipper will go, but don't cut it out. Remove the pins. Finally, trace and cut out the interfacing using the interfacing pattern piece. Make sure the fusible side is facing down. I'm using a heavy stabilizer so the sides will be stiff and hold their shape well. Mark the area for the zipper and outer snap. On this piece, cut out the zipper area. Center the interfacing on the back of the outer fabric. Fuse the fabrics together by covering them with a damp cloth and ironing. Take the bottom part of the snap that has the indentation and center it over the snap mark on the interfacing. Press the prongs into the fabric and mark the indentations. Use a seam ripper to cut slits just big enough for the prongs to go through from the front side of the fabric. Slide the metal support onto the back. Use the pliers to bend down the prongs so they lie flat. Repeat the same thing on the lining piece for the other side of the snap. Before putting on the metal backing, cut out a small piece of interfacing and cut slits to fit it over the prongs. This will reinforce the snap area. Put on the metal support and bend the prongs. With the right sides of the outer piece and the zipper compartment lining facing, line up the zipper area by feeling for the interfacing cutout. Secure the ends with pins. Sew the pieces together, stitching just inside the interfacing cutout. Draw a line down the center and lines out from the corners. Use a seam ripper to start a cut through both layers of fabric. Then use scissors to cut all the way to the corners. Pull 
pull the lining fabric through the hole. Use an iron to flatten the edges. Center the zipper under the opening and pin it in place. Sew all the way around the opening an eighth of an inch or less from the edges. Then fold the lining up so the top edges meet and pin. Sew around the three edges with a half inch seam allowance and that completes the zipper compartment. Line up the outer and inner pieces with the right sides facing and sew around the edges with a half inch seam allowance, leaving the bottom open. Trim the edges down to a quarter of an inch. Turn the piece right side out. Fold the open edge under half an inch and top stitch it closed with a quarter inch seam allowance. If you're using a felt lining, the layers may be too thick for your sewing machine. In this case, hand sew the sides together. Fold the bottom edge up with the outer fabric on the outside to where the piece jogs in. Use a hidden stitch to sew just the outer layers together so the lining doesn't show. Iron the clutch to make the edges crisp. Snap it closed and it's complete. This case is designed to fit an iPad, but it can be used with many other tablets too. Or it's the perfect size to double as a stylish and practical clutch. Thanks for watching this OFS project.